Would you like to create a quote form within Salesforce? Let me show you how with JotForm. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I am currently in the desktop version of my Salesforce account. Now, if you don't already have JotForm with your Salesforce account, you can absolutely grab it for free from the App Exchange. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over into my JotForm account. I'm gonna jump from setup over to JotForm. Now, in order to create this new quote form, I'm gonna go ahead and create a brand new form. So up in the top left-hand corner, we're gonna choose Create Form. And there's a lot of different options to choose from, but for this example, because we know it's going to be a quote form, I'm gonna go ahead and utilize a template. Next, over on the left-hand side, we have a search option. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick search for quote. And let's take a quick scroll to see if there's any that catch our eye. I think I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this moving quote request form. Let's go ahead and take a peek at that. Perfect, nice and simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this template. Now, whenever you utilize a template, there might be some form fields that you would like to be added to this form. So let's take a quick scroll quick. So I can see that I'm currently missing their name and we definitely want that. So over on the left-hand side, we can choose add a form element. And if there's anything that you wanna add in, we can just click and drag it in. So for this example, we definitely want their full name. Perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the properties and we'll make this one required, good deal. Now, again, because we are utilizing a template, it's currently not connected to Salesforce. So in order for that to happen, we need to choose the Salesforce integration right underneath our form designer, Salesforce integration. Now it's gonna ask, do we want it to create a brand new record or do we want it to find an existing record? So for this, we wanna create a brand new record. So let's go ahead and choose next. We're gonna want this in our account object. And we can see that it's already mapping the fields from Salesforce with our form. We have the billing city, and then we also have the account phone number, but we do need to choose our account name. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the full name first and last, perfect. If there are any additional fields that you would like to map, you can do that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and choose next. And now it's wanting to know, do we want it to look for duplicates and update a record so that way we're avoiding those duplicates. Let's go ahead and turn that on and we are gonna look for duplicates by that account name. We can go ahead and save. Now, if we click on the name field, we can see that it is mapped to the account name within our account object. If we choose email, we can see that that's not there, but it also did the billing zip. So we can see it right here. This field is also mapped. Now let's go ahead and preview this form. Let's get it filled out so we can see what this looks like in the end. Let's go ahead and fill form. All right, we can go ahead and scroll down. Let's submit our form. Now, if we exit out of the preview option, not only is this information in our Salesforce account, we're keeping this information in JotForm as well. So at the top left-hand corner, you can see we're currently in the form builder. If we jump over to tables, we can see all of Amanda's information right here. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and jump over to our account object to see Amanda there. And here she is. Now, it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to create a quote form within Salesforce with JotForm, let us know down below in the comments. If you liked this video and you got some value, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.